Good morning and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aquia and I talk here about building my dream lifestyle. Today, I'm going to do something that is a Tampa Bay tradition and that is Gasparilla, which is a big pirates festival that happens in the downtown Tampa Bay area and it happens over really a period of weeks, but today is the big, big day because it's festival parade time. The thing that happens in the day is the Gaspar invasion, which is when all the ships and yachts and boats come out on the Tampa Bay area and downtown, which is- After the invasion happens in the morning, then we have the Gaspar parade, which happens kind of in the late afternoon around 2 p.m. or so, on Bayshore Boulevard. So right by the water, right by downtown. It's wild. This is the Gasparilla Fest, which is basically a whole bunch of parties in the parks that are in downtown. Now, honestly, I'm telling you, I never make it this far because I am done, but you never know. It's 2023 and I'm excited to have Gasparilla this weekend on January 28th. So let's get ready. I'm going to bring you along do my best and let's see what adventures happen by the end of the day because it's Gasparilla. It's very wild. I'm excited because I got some supplies for my Galentine's party coming up. So I got distracted getting ready, but now we're about to get ready for Gasparilla. Hey Y'all, it's time for me to get dressed. I'm doing a pirate's theme for the festival parade. So, and I'm using Beauty Secrets today to keep me nice and hydrated because it is extremely, not extremely, but for Florida standards, cold like in the 60s. So, this will keep my skin nice and moist. I have really been getting into doing my face lately, really taking time to just have fun with makeup and moisturizer and earrings and all that stuff. And these are actually earrings I just got from an art festival that happened in Tampa the night before, which is really cool. And of course, woman-owned art. Let me get it started so I can actually get out of here. Okay, y'all, I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling super cute. And of course, I wanted to break down real quick the makeup and things I have on. So I have Minted, which is a black woman-owned makeup brand care line and then i have um kobe's it's a lip balm that's sustainable i have mascara on from um cheekbone beauty which is indigenous owned so feeling pretty good all right i killing this look and the thing i had it all at my house and i was gonna go thrifting and try to buy stuff no y'all here we go y'all look at this i dang near look like a pirate I am beyond pumped right now by my look. Like, y'all, bruh, seriously. And I even brought my thrifted bag from Label Swap for my loot. Yes, and then these combat boots that my sister gave me and I was definitely about to donate them. <laughs> Glad I didn't, they came through today. Yay! Okay, I just, I am beyond impressed by this right now. Like, literally was gonna go thrift and try to find an outfit and not at a, Bam. Shop your closet, people. Shop your closet. All right. I'm the one driving, ready to go. Okay, finally got parking. That was a journey. Went to one parking garage, it was right, another one, but we made it. And now we're heading home. Now we are walking towards the water and the bay this is the tampa bay convention center as you can see a lot is going on people are just walking moving to the fun basically that's what's happening and it was a really big crowd like i was actually surprised and this is the view of the bay as you can see all the boats and the yachts are out there's tons of people going across the bridge it, it's a ton of people and this view is just absolutely insane and truly a Gasparilla vibe and they had events there where you could go to concerts and see performances and just have a really good time.
Honestly, this shoe was probably like one step from doing it too. As you can see, these have been really worn in. But I thought it went with the Pirates theme until that happened. Y'all, that was the end. Gasparilla really took a turn. A uh, car got towed. Fun. After I paid. We ended up parking in a residential area. So, I had to walk to the ATM. Find an ATM. Then, we were trying to get an Uber. Getting the Uber. Getting there. It was just a whole situation. But I ended up paying $125 to get my car. On top of paying for the Uber. Whew, so that was a lot and my boot broke so that was fun walking around downtown Tampa getting my cash in the Uber in the midst of my boots being broken so Gasparilla really took a turn and it ended up not really being that fun for us this year I don't know if it was just because it was the two of us going to Gasparilla me and my husband like I, I don't know we had a good time at Chorito which is like um, kind of a Mexican type restaurant in Sparkman's War. So that was really nice. But outside of that, I'm just like ready to be home. So yeah, I was wishing this vlog ended with a more exciting note, but I guess this is just the reality of life, you know? So if you like these vloggy lifestyle content things, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more eventful vlogs of my life and just different adventures that I'm going on. But I will see you all next Thursday for a new video.